Welcome to Electron Online. By now, you probably will begin to see the pattern. Whenever we can move things across a diagonal, it makes it a lot easier to solve for particular variables in an equation. In this case, we're trying to solve for x, and so what we're going to do here is realize that this can be written as y over 1, and we are looking to solve for x. So again, we're going to draw a little circle around it, and now we're going to move the 1 minus x over one direction, and the y in the other direction. In other words, we're going to move these across the diagonal like this and like this. Let me rewrite it so it's a little clearer. y over 1 is equal to 1 over 1 minus x. So we're going to move things across the diagonal. So we end up with 1 minus x is equal to 1 times 1 is still 1. And the y comes down here. So we have now 1 over y. Since we're looking for x, we need to get rid of the 1 on the left side, so we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. So we get minus x is equal to 1 over y minus 1. And then, well, let's see here. Let's try to write this over a common denominator. So this is going to be written as minus x is equal to 1 over y minus y over y. So now notice that if I multiply both the top and the bottom of the 1 here, this is basically 1 over 1, so we're going to multiply multiply this times y over y. When we do that, we get this as a fraction on the right side, and now we have a common denominator. So let's continue over here. So now we have minus x is equal to 1 minus y in the numerator, and simply a y in the denominator. And then to get rid of this negative sign, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. So we're going to multiply the left side by negative 1, we're going to multiply the, the right side by negative 1 like this to get rid of the negative, which means that we now get x is equal to, instead of 1 minus y, we now can write it as y minus 1 over y, and that is the simplified and cleanest way to write the, the equation in terms of x. And that's how it's done.